Oh, hello, MicahJesse.com readers. I'm Micah Jesse, and I'm standing here with Justin Bieber. Justin, hi. <laughs> of YouTube fame. He's rising the charts right now. Number one song on Z100 right now? Yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. So anyways, I'm, I'm on my way to the interview. I'm getting out of the subway, and I'm hearing screaming fans. I mean, we weren't anywhere near your public appearance, and they're okay. following your, your hotel. How does that feel? Um, it's, 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 uh, it's awesome to have these fans... I wouldn't be in this position without them, so they're great. Um, I guess they know where I'm staying. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the receptionist also said, she said, um, you stayed here the last time you were in New York. Yeah. And that was about a year ago. Yeah. And that's when you were signing your record deal. Yeah. That was pretty cool for them. Yeah. When they saw you again, they were like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm here all the time. Yeah. Here. You guys don't know where here is. Here. We're in New York City, yes. But we won't tell you where we are. Uh, <laughs> and um, so you signed with Usher. Yes. So there was actually a little bit of a controversy, a yeah. battle for you. Yes. How cool is that? It was awesome. Between Usher and Justin Timberlake, I mean, it doesn't get much better yeah, than that. Exactly. So tell me about the decision process and you know how things are going now. Um. All right. So basically, it was it was a um it was basically a deal from Usher and a deal from uh, Justin Timberlake, and uh, one was with uh, with his label and one was with uh, Usher's at um, Def Jam, and we ended up going with Alan Def Jam. Um, having the CEO of Island Def Jam, uh, L.A. Reid, was just incredible. And uh, through the past, uh, let's say, six, six, seven months, I've uh, recorded my album, which is going to be out November 17th. So you guys got to go check that out. And, um, yeah, so we've just been doing a lot. Um, hopefully going to be doing touring pretty soon. Yeah. Right now I'm doing a promo tour. I just got back from Germany. That's what I was going to ask you next. Um, you've been quite a few places already on your promo tour. Yeah. Where's your favorite place so far? I don't know. I, I just got back from the UK and stuff, and I really liked it over there. But, I mean, every every place I've been to has shown That's me cool. love, so yeah. I, I really like it. Right. Okay, so you're in New York now. Yeah. What do you love and what do you hate about New York? <sighs> what do I I like it. The, um, the people are really nice and, um... Contrary just, to popular belief. Yes. <laughs> we are nice. Yes. Uh, what else? What I don't like is the garbage issue. Yeah. There's a lot of garbage. Well, we need to clean this up. <laughs> yeah. Um, craziest fan moment. Um, crazy fan. Well, I did have one lady or girl, um, jump on me. <laughs> but, um... Did you get hurt? No, I was, I'm fine. She's cool. Um, but that was kind of, cr- it was six in the morning, so I wasn't uh, expecting it. You weren't ready. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just have amazing fans. I mean, my fans are all really devoted and uh, are just really awesome. Cool. So your fans are going to stick with you through the whole music process. Yeah. What can they expect from your album? Um, they can expect, um, the sound is like R&B pop. Um, you can expect just a lot of fun stuff. There's a lot of songs about, like, um, girls and love and stuff, so it's going to be fun. Who are your musical inspirations? My musical inspirations? Artists like that say, you look up yeah, to. Yeah, I definitely look up to um, on the musical side and stuff. Uh, Michael Jackson and, uh, Steve, yes, I know, um, Stevie Wonder and, like, uh, Boyz II Men. I love Boyz II Men. They're from Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Who would you like to collaborate with on your album? I would love to collaborate. You know, I feel like there's a difference between yeah. loving someone and someone you want to jam with. Yeah, I mean, it would be awesome to jam with uh, Beyonce. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. Okay, so tell me about Taylor Swift. Uh, you guys have some, some little love connection going on? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> okay. but No, but um, we've been kind of twittering back and forth, and, like, she put a song in my video, or in her video, my song. Okay. And uh, I kind of started things off. I, I made a video back to her. And uh, we actually met the other day. Oh, that's together. cool. Tell me about that. We met at Madison Square. Okay. Um, you were at her show? Yeah, I went to her show and I was backstage. and um, It was just a lot of fun. I got to meet her and her whole... Was she crew. everything you expected? Yeah, she was really nice. Really she nice? Was, yeah, awesome. And how, how was the show? It was great. She put on a great performance. You think you'll do pyro techniques in your show? I, or? I, I, Soon, <laughs> soon to come. <laughs> okay, so let's take it back a little bit. You, um, you know, you started on the internet. Yeah. You know, your your song with you, which yeah. is a cover of Chris Brown, yeah. went. I mean, if it could go platinum, gold, whatever yeah. it was, on Ten YouTube, million, yeah. ten million, unbelievable. Yeah. So, do you read the blogs? I mean, 
that's kind of how the buzz started about you. Yeah. Did you read them? Yeah, definitely. I read all most of the blogs. I, I, I tried to stay up to date. But, like, it's just awesome. Like, there's so many comments and everything. It just, I got so much love, and I was really, really blessed. Yeah. Did you expect any of this? Uh, no. Did any little inkling say, like, this video could go to 10 million? No. I, Not at all? No. So you sat in your apartment one day, or yeah, your house, or apartment, whatever, yeah. and you made a video singing a song. Somebody told you you were talented, I'm sure. Yeah. You probably knew you were talented. You put it on YouTube, and before you know it, you're famous. I guess, yeah. That's how it goes. Okay, okay so Ryan Seacrest. Yeah. Unbelievable. The biggest TV host. He's one of my idols, awesome. and he's a huge fan of you. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, I get, I'm going on this, uh, on this radio, um, show, and... I'm not sure, a couple of weeks, I think. Okay. But it's going to be a lot of fun. We get to go. I'm going to go perform for um, Sick Kids, and it's going to be awesome. Excellent. Um, what are you scared about? Is there any part of this process that makes you a little bit nervous? Um, I mean, I don't really, I'm not scared because I know, like, what really um, sets me apart and um, just not even that. It's just, like, I have so many, so many great people around me. So many people to just keep me grounded and humble and stuff. So I think I'm going to do all right. Good luck. Um, what else do you want to do on this process? Um, Books? Movies? Yeah. Um, I definitely plan to do a lot of a lot of different stuff like that. Um, I was just actually in a movie called School Girls, which is going to be on Nickelodeon. All right. You know, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'm going to be on True Jackson uh, coming soon. Check so, yeah. that out. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for talking with Thanks me. Thanks for having me. Yeah, this is the next big thing, man. <laughs> Thank okay, you. before you go, um, could you do a quick little stand-up, you know, something like...